And that made me feel better right there. And then the angel said, You should go on to save people from their sins. So at that moment, when I woke up, I realized I couldn't divorce Mary. So God was doing something wonderful through her. So at that moment, I took Mary to my house. <laughs> and all that was left to do was to wait for the Son of God to be Good evening, everyone. My name is Jacob. Tonight, I am playing the role of the innkeeper. The innkeeper is an important part, you know. Although he hardly ever get the attention he deserves. I'm going to spell out for you so that way you'll understand. See, after Mary went to stay with Joseph, a decree sent out to everyone in Israel that they had to return to the land of their ancestors to be counted and taxed. And they didn't have any computers or phones like we do now, so people had to actually show up somewhere to be counted. Mary and Joseph was a Joseph Mary's husband, who was a descendant of David, King David, and King David was from my town, Bethlehem. So, so David, so Joseph had to travel all the way to Bethlehem from Nazareth. Mary came with him, and that's when I, the innkeeper, became the star of the show. <laughs> There is no room in the end. <laughs> Here, walk, I'll show you. Uh, excuse me, sir. Name? Uh, I'm Joseph, and this is Mary. Uh, we need to play the stage tonight, please. Sorry, buddy, but, but there is no room in the end. <laughs> All the circles, please. We walked over 70 miles to get here, and Mary's very tired. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. The place is back, but with all the vid visitors from out of town, there's no place to put you or the missus. Please, please, sir. You see Mary's pregnant, and she might be giving birth tonight. We need shelter somewhere, anywhere. I see your problem. We all have problems, don't we? <laughs> I tell you what I'll do. Since it's obvious you have a need here. There, there's a shack out back. I know it's not much, but it's shelter, it's shelter and I'll throw up a nice clean hand for you. What do you say? Yes, we'll take it. Oh, thank you, Connor. <laughs> God bless you. Did you hear that? God bless you. Little did I know that night. God was going to bless everyone on that night, on that special night in Bethlehem. While Mary and Joseph were in the stable that night, the baby Jesus, the son of God, was born, and Mary wrapped him in cloths and laid him in the manger. That means a wooden box of old hay. But don't look at us, we didn't know anything about it. See, we were watching our flock of sheep that night, and all of a sudden, an angel, an angel from God appeared to us, and we were terrified. <laughs> but the angel said, Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy. Yeah, good news of great joy. Today in the town of David, the Savior has been born to you. He is the Christ. That's Bethlehem. And let this be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloth lying in a manger. Dude, is that cool or what? And all of a sudden, glory to God in highest, and on earth peace to men on whom his favor rests. And then the angels left us, and then we said, Dude, we gotta go see this! <laughs> <laughs> or as it says in the Bible, let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing that happened that the Lord has told us. And so we went, and we found the stable. And the baby. <laughs> and the manger. Just like God had told us.
Then we went to the town of Bethlehem, telling anyone, telling anyone who will listen. What we had, what had happened, and then we glory, and then we praise and glorify God for all that we have seen and all that we have been told. What a night in Bethlehem! Having found the true king king on a night in Bethlehem. What a night in Bethlehem! 